A bow is a technology that creates energy from magnetic interactions. A bow provides free, clean and constant energy at the point of use. A bow is a platform technology that can be engineered to power anything from a phone, to a fridge to a car. A bow is controversial, science tells us that energy cannot be created, yet a bow does this. A bow is an overunity technology, it provides more energy out than is put in. It's a fraud. The irony here is that this is a company that makes anti-fraud technology. It's not possible, you can sue me for quoting the rules of physics. This company here does not use fancy superconductors or lasers, it's just a simple magnet machine. A bow is based upon time variant magnetic interactions, that is magnetic interactions whose efficiency varies as a function of transaction timber frames. It is this variation of energy exchanged as a function of transaction time frame that lies at the heart of a boat technology, and its ability to contravene the principle of the conservation of energy. Why? Conservation of energy requires that the total energy exchanged using interactions are invariant in time. This principle of time invariance is enshrined in Noether's theorem. And so there is usually a sleight of hand. Usually. You know, in the back someplace energy is coming in but you can't see it and it's energizing their machine. Most reputable scientists don't want to be part of something like this because they realize it's a hoax. But what happens is, shady scientists, you know, scientists who want to get their names in the paper or get a piece of the action, they sign up for the challenge and there's a lot of hoopla. Television cameras come and say, look, here is the scientist. The scientist says, Oh my gosh, this guy's going to revolutionize the energy situation, change the world. Then they get headlines that way. Our company either had to drop the project or find another way to get science involved. Clearly dropping a project of this impact was not an option. With respect to the fraud allegation we have made our position very clear, the company will not pursue or accept any funding while this process is in place. We will under no circumstances attempt to commercialize the technology in any way until the jury have delivered their verdict. Hypothetically, assuming that their claims are true, which I don't think is possible, it would represent one of the greatest discoveries of humanity, going back to the discovery of fire. From the taming of fire, the horse, gunpowder, explosives, and nuclear weapons, free unlimited energy would revolutionize society almost instantly. The oil executives would be on the unemployment lines. It would change the crisis forever. Every aspect of society would be overturned, from transpiration, heating, electricity, factories, etc. But these guys in Ireland will not make this happen. 2009 represents a turning point for Storm, a bow and our other technology ranges. It marks the end of a long cycle of R&D and sees us making a strong push towards commercialization. Our plans show the business reaching profitability in the next 12 to 18 months.